Here we will demonstrate the push-up test. This is going to be administered in two different positions depending on your subject's gender. The men are going to start in what was called the downward or standard position. Okay? This is going to be your prototypical or your normal push-up position. The hands are going to be pointing forward under the shoulder, back will be straight, head is up, and using the toes as the pivotal point. Okay? The women, which we will demonstrate later, are actually going to be in a modified knee push-up position. Again, I will explain this later on what that, and, and demonstrate what that position looks like. All right. Have your subject get into the appropriate position and have them go through one or two practice trials to make sure they are doing the push-up appropriately. When, you're when your subject does their push-up, it is important that their elbows remain straight in the up position, and then when they go in the down position, they will go all the way down until the chin touches a mat or the floor. The stomach should not touch the ground. All right. When they go into the up position, once again, the elbows should become fully straight. For both men and women, the subject's back should remain straight at all times. It shouldn't arch, it shouldn't sink, it shouldn't do anything besides stay in the straight position. Also, in the up position, the subjects must come back to a fully extended elbow. Okay. The test will begin at, the, at your cue. You will tell your subject to begin. The idea of the test is for your subject to do the maximal number of push-ups consecutively without any rest. You count the number of push-ups that they do appropriately, and that is their score at the end of the test. The test is stopped when the client strains forcibly or is unable to maintain appropriate technique within two repetitions. This is where you as the administrator comes into play and is very important. You need to monitor their form. You need to make sure they're not straining forcibly. If they are, you stop the test, even if they try to continue. Also too, do not forget that if they don't keep appropriate form within one of the repetitions, you can't count that towards their score. The final reason a test would end would obviously be if the subject asks to stop or stops on their own. This is, seems like a simple test, however you as an administrator must really pay close attention to this to get an appropriate score to make sure that your subject is keeping appropriate form and doing the test appropriately. What you'll see here is, uh, is a few demonstrations of appropriate push-ups in the male standard position. The subject will also be controlled through this. It's not as fast as they can go. It's controlled, appropriate push-ups. To demonstrate some inappropriate form slash technique of this test where repetitions wouldn't count, uh, we will show you what some things may look like within your subject. Here you see the subject has an arched back where it's actually up in the air. His uh, bottom is up in the air. His back is not flat. Uh, this would be an inappropriate form or inappropriate technique. This repetition would not count for this individual. The next one here is the, where the subject's hips are actually sagging towards the ground. Um, this again is an inappropriate position. Um, this repetition shouldn't count. This oftentimes happens towards the end of the test when the subject starts to fatigue. Here the subject isn't completely going all the way down to the ground or he's touching, actually laying on the ground. So he either doesn't go down, he's his stomach is actually against the ground. He's using the ground to actually lay down. The subject needs to hold themselves above the ground slightly and just touch their chin to the mat. So what you see here is a subject that's not going, once again, all the way down to the ground and they're also not fully extending their elbows in the up position. Notice that there's a bend in the elbow. Again, these repetitions shouldn't count. He's not a keeping appropriate form. 